Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Thomas Stapleton, president of the West Bridgewater chapter of the National Honor Society. On behalf of our society, I would like to welcome you to the induction of members of the class of 2023 into the West Bridgewater chapter of the National Junior Honor Society. At this time, would everyone please rise for the entrance of our new National Junior Honor Society members. We ask you to please remain standing for our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. At this time, our principal, Mrs. Christine Page, would like to welcome our inductees, parents, and guests. Good evening. I am honored to be here this evening to congratulate each of you on your induction to the National Junior Honor Society. I want to take a moment to thank Mr. Bodwell, Mr. Hanna, and your advisors, Mr. Luca and Mr. Despierre for making this night possible. Tonight, we gather together to acknowledge your hard work, dedication, and achievement in scholarship, a commitment to learning and growing on an educational path, making the most of your educational opportunities available to you, service, and engagement and meaningful service to your school and community, seeking opportunities to help others. Leadership, carrying oneself with dignity and taking ownership and responsibility for one's actions and participation. Character, valuing diverse cultures and building relationships that reflect the love of self, but also a concern for others. And citizenship, demonstrate care for issues that impact those who are citizens in your community. These pillars, which are necessary to uphold as a member of the National Junior Honor Society, require a commitment from each of you, and this program tonight allows us to publicly acknowledge and recognize and celebrate that you have done just exactly that. For those of you already in high school, and those who will begin your high school career next fall, there are going to be countless opportunities to challenge yourself academically, to serve your school and community, and to, uh, to be elected to leadership roles. As these moments present themselves to you, be confident in your ability. Be honest in your approach. Be focused in your work and be kind to those around you. It is not easy to be a leader and a role model who sets high expectations for themselves. So remember, always make some time for yourself to enjoy those things that make you happy. Lastly, take time and thank those who have helped you, your parents and guardians, friends and family, faculty and staff, and all those who love and support you. A big congratulations to all of you this evening. Let's give them a round of applause. At this time, I would like to call upon James Sheedy to the podium. Um, uh, James is a member of the class of 2024 and a member of the National Honor, so uh, National Honor Society. So welcome. Good evening, friends, family, and inductees of the National Junior Honor Society. Thank you, Mr. Baldwell, Mr. Pa Ms. Ms. Page, and Mr. Hanna for allowing me to speak today. My name is James Sheedy. I'm a member of National Honor Society, and I would like to congratulate the inductees for receiving an academic honor. You should, you should be proud of yourselves for getting to this point in your academic career. Being a part of the National Junior Honor Society is more than getting good grades. To be a part of the National Junior Honor Society 
means that you must show, show these five cornerstones, scholarship, leadership, service, character, and citizenship. Scholarship is, ach is achieved through diligence and effort. It is your pledge to do all your homework, projects, and classwork on time. You try your hardest on any assignments given. You study days before your tests and quizzes and stay after with teachers to prepare yourself to your best ability. You take the difficult courses and thrive through your hard work and dedication. Leadership is, is, a, is finding a way and leading others down the path. You are the students who help others, down the, others when the teacher is busy. You are the students who listen to others' ideas and respect their ideas. You not only set examples for kids your age, but kids younger than you. As an NJHS member, you must complete service hours every month. You could help sell snacks at basketball games or go, go and run a 5K for cancer fundraiser, or so much more. Service is to give back to your community by helping others around you. Community service helps you with speaking to new people. You gain skills that you will use the rest of your life. Not only is NJHS an important involvement during your academic career, but also teaches you values that you will continue, you'll be able to use throughout your life. Character is what dis distinguishes you from another student. The character cornerstone means that you strive to make the right choices every single day. Members of the National Junior Art Society demonstrate kindness, respect, and responsibility. Your positivity and good actions do not go unnoticed. You have exemplified, exemplified, exemplified these characteristics that will rub, rub off on you and those around you. Citizenship is how you interact with your, with your town, state, country, and the world. It includes the responsibilities you have to, state, have to the state and nation. As good citizens, you make sure to try and better your lives and people and the lives of those around you. As good citizens, you understand the importance of civic involvement. These five cornerstones are the same in National Honor Society. If you continue to show these five cornerstones through freshman year, you can, invite, you can be invited to the National Honor Society sophomore year. Members of the NHS tend to go into honors and advanced placement classes. By taking challenging classes and staying in NHS, colleges will recognize it. Being a part of something as important as a National Honor Society is a very important and beneficial aspect of your college resume. Before I close, I would like to have a round of applause for the friends and family of the inductees. Your encouragement and support is vital towards their success. Students, please remember when your parents say work before play, it is for your own good. They only want the best for you and they're telling you the truth when they say that academics are the most important. Congratulations, inductees, and I wish, the be I wish you best of luck in your future efforts. This evening, we will welcome the new members into our chapter. They have earned their membership by their effective demonstration of the five qualities held in high esteem by the society. These five qualities are scholarship, service, leadership, citizenship, and character. At this time, five members of the National Junior Honor Society will each discuss one of the, these five qualities. The five burning candles on stage represent the five qualities identified by the society. Scholarship. Scholarship means a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for education ends only when the, with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past and the light which illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Service. My office is service. Service can be described in various ways. In the routine of the day's work, many opportunities arise to help others. Willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or without recognition is the quality we seek in our membership. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow. Leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school 
Taking the initiative in class, in school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to attain the same objective. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interest for the interest of others. A leader has self-confidence and will step forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a country, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed, thus, to lead is a substantive charge to each of our members. Character. Character is the force within each individual which distinguishes the person from others. It gives each what individuality it is the with, without which no one can respect oneself nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character which guides one through life and when once developed, grows steadily. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant action, daily striving to make one the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality what we wish to appear to others. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. And citizenship. I represent citizenship. The obligations each member of our society faces to live up to the democratic ideas, ideals given to us by the founders of our country. The responsibilities each of us has to our home, community, our state, and our nation are many. As citizens, we are bound to live up to the laws and guidelines which unite us as, civilized, as a civilized society. Good citizens work together to improve not only our lives, but the lives of all our fellow citizens. Good citizenship requires that we remain strong and vigilant in protecting the freedoms and rights that have been granted to us in prevailing injustice from entering our lives. We, the members of our chapter, are called to live up to the high standards of citizenship from this day forward. We will now present our new members with their certificates of membership. Andrew Amaro. <laughs> Gavin Anise. <laughs> Antonia Badgett. <laughs> Tyler Beatty. Giovanni Benjamin. Samuel Bell. Pamala Berezueta. Haley Boyle. Balin Brown. Caitlin Bunovitz. <laughs> Alessandro Cabrera. <laughs> Jake Callahan. <laughs> Kira Cogovan. Paige Cribben. Ariel Deliba. Jordan DiMatteo. Amy Dangoya. Brianna De Palma.
Jackson Dorito. Rose Diedrichson. Anthony DiMaggio. Noel Dwyer. Alexandra Edgerly. Megan Faroli. Kaylin Gallivan. <laughs> Mia Gunnison. <laughs> Patrick Harrington. <laughs> Ella Holden. <laughs> Addison Holland. Gregory Joseph. Alexander Kelly. Abigail Kellogg. Nashla Q. Jude Lone. Ethan Lormal. <laughs> Elena Mai. Katora Marceline. Scarlett Marquez. Alyssa Martins. Gianna Martins. <laughs> Maeve Matta. Maxine Medeiros. Lily Milton. <laughs> Kayla Moody. <laughs> Caitlin Nee. <laughs> Reese O'Keefe. Catherine Robertson. Nora Reynolds. Brooke Ryan. Laura Shafford. Riley Sheehan. Alana Sheriff. Jasmine Silva. Isabella Small. Lauren Wallace. Paige Seleski. Uh, Dylan Fernandez. <laughs> Lauren Lormel. <laughs> Cole Seckinger. <laughs> and Paige Snell.
If you'd like to take a picture, now's probably the time to do so. Let's give one last round of applause for the new inductees. <laughs> On behalf of the West Bridgewater chapter of the National Junior Honor Society, I congratulate each of our new members. The qualities you bring to our chapter are fine examples for our organization and West Bridgewater Middle Senior High School. We wish you continued success in your academic career. The West Bridgewater National Junior Honor Society would like to thank our honored guests, new members, families, and friends for being part of our ceremony this evening. At this time, you are all invited to a reception in the cafeteria. We ask that everyone please remain seated until our new members have exited the auditorium. Thank you and have a wonderful evening. Yeah.